This is the George Padmon Library, a research and education centre for African studies. Established in 1961, this library can boast of more than 50,000 books named after the late leading Pan-Africanist and journalist. The books here span from religion to culture to biography to novels. Located in the upscale neighbourhood of Ridge, a suburb of Accra, the over 100 seating capacity library had about 30 readers as at the time of visit. The place was quiet with readers busy reading and studying. So why do readers still frequent the library? I chose the library because of the serene atmosphere you find here. Over here there is no much noise and the place is quite okay for learning. Nowadays, with the introduction of um, information communication technology, people would prefer to study at home using the internet. And then also, with study groups available, people would rather choose to study with groups. And you know with the library, you can't come and be studying in groups. And also, what's, what books will you really find here? The books are mostly obsolete, so these are some of the reasons. People would rather choose to study at home instead of coming all the way to the library. I'm coming to do my project work here. About decades ago, people stopped using library because of the internet and this technology. But considering the fact it looks like not all the books that they have, we can, we can go through the internet and get. But when you come here, you see those old, old, old times books for you to do your project work. I came here to study. Um, I'm writing for my exams, my end of sem exams at Sakura Technical University. Yeah, I'm a level 200 student. I decided to come here to study because this place is quite quiet and you can concentrate because in the house I'll be tempted to watch movies, sleep or even chat with friends. Yeah, and on campus too, you know friends, you like chatting and all that. So you come here to study, after that you can just go and do your chatting. When it's time, you just go and write. Basically that's why I'm here. I came to prepare for my exams and then do some research for my project. I decided to come to the library because the environment is favorable to me. Comparing the library to the home, the home is very noisy and then the library too is very quiet. So I prefer doing my research at the library than staying in the house and then visiting the internet to source out for information. When I'm in the library, I can do the same and then get access to more information so far as there are uh, different kinds of books around. That's why I prefer the library than staying in the house. Public libraries are an integral part of the community. Access to relevant and up-to-date information is crucial for the economic and social well-being. With the arrival of the internet, the significance of the brick block library seems to be falling. Libraries play a very important role in national development because libraries are like the fulcrum or the center or the pivot around which development takes place. Let's take, for example, as a student. A student needs information for him or her to pass the exams. The businessman needs information to enhance upon his business. In the community that you serve, it's our responsibility to ensure that we promote the cultural activities of that community. After hard week's work, one needs to relax. So the library provides some facilities for you to come and relax. You can relax through watching films. You can relax through reading novels. So the library is very, very important for national development. On the other hand, some readers at the Ghana Library Authority tells me it is more peaceful studying at the library. I choose the library because I want a calm environment. I don't want to be disturbed when I'm learning. And I'm a tired when I'm learning, you disturb me, I can't learn anymore. My purpose here is to learn. I choose to learn in this library 
because here is favorable for learning. For example, there's no noise. You don't hear students shouting here and there. And everywhere is quiet. Everything is neat, well structured and everything. That's why I choose learning here. Interestingly, the children's library had toddlers patrons who could not read. The librarian tells me they come around just to have a look at the colorful pictures in the books. A virtual library cannot replace the traditional library. How then do we get the citizenry to make full use of the library? For News Generation, this has been Dokas Boedu.